All right, so update on the S5. I'm currently pulling the engine and transmission together uh, to do a few things, namely the timing system. Uh, I was having pretty bad rattling on startup, uh, cold starts and warm starts for about three to five seconds. And uh, there's a technical service bulletin on the upper timing chain tensioners from Audi. And they specify that if the rattle is longer than three seconds on cold start, or if you have rattling on warm starts at all, then you are out of spec. And the upper tensioners should be replaced with a newer revision. So uh, rather than trying to take off the timing covers and doing the timing chains this way, I'm opting to just pull the engine and transmission together and throwing in a few other things while I'm back there. I'm going to do the rear main seal, the oil filter housing flange gasket, which I should have been able to do with the supercharger off, but one of the bolts stripped. So I'm going to have to get the engine out to do that anyway, and that is leaking. I'm also doing the pilot bearing and the flex plate, uh, the input shaft seal, since I didn't do those when I did my clutch and flywheel when I had the transmission out last time. And then I'm also doing uh, all of the control arms, uh, tie rods, and probably gonna throw in those lowering springs that I've had sitting around at the same time. And uh, my method of taking the engine out is essentially I took the front clip off, as you can see here, disconnecting all of the electrical connectors and lines from the engine, and then uh, disconnecting the control arms from the chassis, and then I'm going to just lower the subframe with the engine and transmission and pull it out forward. So a uh, brief overview of sort of what you have to do to get there. Taking the front clip off is, is not too hard. It's essentially just you get the car to service position and then unplug some tubes and connectors. That's pretty easy to figure out. Um, Got to disconnect the upper control arms, um, which isn't really too hard. I got the pinch bolts out, but technically you wouldn't need to. Um, Got to take the exhaust off, um, the subframe X-brace off, um, drive shaft off, um, and then disconnect all the lines and everything from the engine and the transmission itself, take the linkages off, remove the steering, um, uh, steering column shaft, and then basically just lower the subframe. So, so far, this has actually seemed a lot easier than pulling the transmission by itself was, uh, just because separating the bell housing from the engine while it's under the car is extremely difficult. So I believe all I have left to do before I pull this forward is uh, take the brake calipers off so I don't have to disconnect the brake lines, uh, and then take the trans mount off, the drive shaft off, remove the linkages and a couple connectors from the back, and then I should be able to lower it and pull it out. And then once it's out, I'll separate the engine and transmission and do all the work that needs to be done.